Hello everybody, this is Nidu. And this is Oziawa Obed. Welcome to another episode of uh, Love Divine Relationship Forum. Yes. It's a place where we talk about things that enhances relationship and those things that bring relationships down. We believe your relationship ought to be a blessing and not a nightmare. Yes. Right? Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I believe we have another good uh, topic today. Always. Yes, the title is Dealing with Trust in Relationship. Dealing with Trust in Relationship. Yes, um, I think this is an important uh, uh, discussion mm -hmm. uh, because, as we know, trust plays uh, an important part in relationships. However, how we deal with trust and what we do with it. Sometimes we do without realizing what we're doing or uh, uh, let me just say it, just throw us into it. What do you think about trust in relationship? <laughs> well, of course, um, trust uh, by definition is a firm belief uh, in the reliability or ability or strength in someone or something, a firm belief in reliability, in truth, in the ability or strength in someone or something. So, um, so uh, uh, trust is, a, a trusted person is one that you expect to be consistent, one that you expect to be reliable, one that you expect to be dependable, one that you can always count on. And uh, so, that seems like a whole a big, <laughs> a big mouthful. <laughs> all this from one person? Who is sufficient for all this? <laughs> no wonder, no wonder we disappoint people when they trust in us. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, uh, you just uh, run out a lot of things that, um, <laughs> to me, uh, are deep. Yes. But then we still want to trust somebody. How can you be in a relationship unless mm -hmm. you, you have trust, mm -hmm. right? Trust one another. Mm -hmm. But we want to kind of approach this in a particular angle today mm -hmm. in the sense that sometimes we, it could it be that we are asking our partner, our spouse, uh, asking too much from them by demanding certain level of trust well, it doesn't mean that you want to, you're demanding a trust from that person. In other words, when we say, oh, this person has betrayed me. Yes. This person has betrayed me. And we know that when somebody is betrayed in a relationship, it could cause a whole lot of other issues. Correct. Some relationships never recover from betrayal. Mm -hmm. Right? Right. But the question is, should it even get to that level in the beginning? To the level where we are betrayed, to the point where we are not able to recover. Is it because there's something about trust that we don't quite understand? Well, part of it is, um, I, I, I just believe that um, God is the only one that we can count on at all times. He's the only one that delivers 100% all the time. He says what... Uh, uh, he says and he he does what he says, right? So for us humans, um, we may start out with good intentions. It doesn't always end up in that way because right. we are fallible. We are we are fallen folks. We are you know we have our issues. We have um, you know uh, things in our lives that we haven't resolved, and so all these things come into play when we are in a relationship yes. and so expecting that person um, to be able to give you a hundred percent of trust or uh, 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 expecting that person to deliver all to the do time the things you want them to do to the do. way you want them to do it's it's not it's not it's unrealistic. It's not, it's unrealistic it's not possible yes you know god is the only mm -hmm. one who um, he's only one that is, uh, I would say, long on promise. He's not long on promise and short on delivery. Mm -hmm. He delivers all the time. But no human being meets that, right. that quality, yes. except, except, except if you have God's spirit in you, 
then you can begin to build to be like that so basically what we're trying to say is that sometimes when we ask people we want to people we want, we want people to be trusted we want to trust people yes we want to trust people to the level where we don't expect them to disappoint us the question is we have to look at ourselves and ask ourselves can i really be trusted in such a way that i can't in no way shape or form disappoint somebody else mm -hmm. because sometimes we're always thinking about what other people are doing mm -hmm. let's think about ourselves mm -hmm. now as christians we have to look at what the word of god says about trust mm -hmm. because if you want to know how to build your relationship the right way it's better that you know what god says about trusting one another mm -hmm. and uh I, I find it interesting <laughs> that if you actually go to the scriptures you will find that the scripture didn't tell us to trust in people no. right mm -mm. it didn't say trust in people in fact it says what it said cost is the person who trusts who trusts in men and also in women <laughs> no, no, not not this is gender <laughs> cost, this is not gender violence yes, cost is the man who trusts in men or woman who trusts in men or trusts in women in other right. words it's saying that man cannot what we're expecting from a man or from a woman in relationship to come out from within them it's not possible mm -hmm. A man cannot trust, uh, cannot produce that level of trust. Neither can a woman produce that because it's not in them. As a matter of fact, the Bible says the heart of man is what? That's just very wicked. wicked. Yeah. Man is very self serving, mm -hmm. self preserving. Mm -hmm. So when we ask men to give us that level of trust on their own, it's mm -hmm. not. Uh, doable yes it's not doable. It's that was difficult why you what you mentioned when you talked about god it is the god in us yes that can be trusted correct correct again it's the god in us that can be trusted mm -hmm. so when we are in relationships or when we are about to get into a relationship this is why it's important to know who you're getting into a relationship exactly. with. Exactly. The, the, the scripture tells us, don't be unevenly yoked. Yes. Uh, let that person have the same spirit that you have. Mm -hmm. A Christian should expect to have the spirit of God in them, yes. according to the scriptures. Mm -hmm. So when you're marrying another Christian, you should expect them to have the spirit of God. Now, is that spirit of God that builds the trust help her to build the right type of trust. trust correct. Right correct. type of trust. So if we don't have that and we are just living any which way and we expect the other person to do, produce the level of trust we want from them, it's very difficult. It's impossible. Yes, yes, yes. We, we, like you said, um, when we have the right spirit in us, which is the spirit of God, then we can begin to practice you know, we can, we will have the ability to make ourselves trustworthy. Trustworthy. You know, and uh, the way to make ourselves trustworthy is that we are able to uh, become transparent when we are dealing with the other person. We are able to show honesty. We are able to uh, 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 treat each other with kindness, with love, and with care. You know, otherwise, you know, the natural man wants to do what? Serve himself. Serve himself. You know, yes. we, we want to do what pleases us. We are self-seeking. We are selfish. Yes. Okay. But um, in a relationship, especially a couple relationship, we are supposed to serve one, one another. another. And you really cannot do that uh, unless the right spirit is in you. you. And so what will make you uh, uh, trustworthy is that you have that honesty, that divine Cultivate honesty. Cultivate the right relationship with the Lord. Yes, first, yes. With the Lord for let both parties mm -hmm. build relationship with the Lord. Yes. Then they can begin to, you know, take from that to learn how to be trustworthy. Mm -hmm. Be trustworthy. Mm -hmm. Wow. Look at that. Well, what are oh. we talking about today? We're talking about trust in relationship. Yes. And the point we're trying to make today is that you should not expect your your spouse or mm -hmm. your partner mm -hmm. to be trustworthy 
because you yourself on your own you are not trustworthy yes unless you have god working in you then you can cultivate the character that is trustworthy yes so we encourage one another to first trust in the lord mm -hmm. with all our heart with all our strength yes and lean not on our own understanding as yes. the scripture tells us mm -hmm. that's how we are going to have good success in all our ways we should acknowledge the lord yes so yes so in closing we're saying yes we are to trust one another but let us trust the god that is working through that person trust. let us commit yes. our relationship to the lord and pray that your spouse or your partner is god fearing yes. so that they can build the right type of character that is worthy of trust correct Correct. All Correct. right, all Correct. right. We have to stop as usual. <laughs> have to stop as usual. Let us pray. We know that there are some that need prayer. We all need prayer. Yes. Father, in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we thank you for letting us understand that yes, we need trust in our relationships. How can we? How can two work unless they agree? Yes. But today we also understand that we on our own cannot build that character of trust. Because man is selfish and self-centered but you who works in us you can help us build that character of trust we pray for every relationship that is part of this today that Lord that you will help them build that character of trust in their lives that their relationship may be a blessing that you made them to be not a nightmare in Jesus mighty name we pray amen amen, amen. amen. Again, this is Nidu. And this is Uziyama. And do not forget to share this uh, with uh, friends, uh, you know, your various groups. Yes. Subscribe if you haven't done so. We do bring some interesting content, okay? Yes. Like us as well and uh, say something. Yes. And then uh, we thank you for subscribing. Those of yes. you who have subscribed, thank we you really so thank much. you, appreciate it. Yes. And uh, until next time. You say go and have the best relationship you can have. Alright, bye for now. Bye for now.